The heat. There's nothing like it when you're a runner, and Central New York races can be tough. Take the Boilermaker 15K in Utica. Mid-July in Central New York is guaranteed to feel boiling hot. When you exercise in the heat, your body temperature rises. That's because most of us aren't efficient at getting rid of that heat. When your temperature goes up, certain things in your body begin to work less efficiently or even go wrong. What you would see most commonly is somebody starts to become uh, altered, is what we would say, but it's, it's confusion, uh, sometimes it's even seizure, or it's sleepiness. The brain just doesn't work right, and that's usually the first sign. We say the brain boils first in the heat. The body cools itself by sweating. The sweat evaporates, and that's what cools the body. In order to perspire, the body pumps blood to the surface of the skin. The heart works harder as blood carries the heat away, leading to a drop in blood volume and loss of electrolytes. This can affect performance and lead to dehydration. High humidity also makes running more challenging. Evaporation from sweating is difficult in humid air, which is already saturated with water. In this case, the body's core temperature will continue to rise unless you dial back the effort or find other ways to cool down. Race organizers in Utica have been battling the heat for decades, backing up the start time over the years and stocking the course with piles of cold food and beverages. They put out 7,000 gallons of water. There's ice and popsicles. They go through 30 cases of orange wedges. And perhaps the highlight of the event is the post-race party. 290 barrels of cold beer await runners at the finish. Finest and the best post-race party of any race in the country. Dunk, 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 dunk